Ustaz. Okay, in today's session, the beginning of the week, uh, we will start with uh, topic one, introduction to machinery principle. Okay, introduction to machinery principle. We have a total, a total of four topics to be discussed. I'll start from week one until uh, finish lah. Maybe we will finish all of the topic, eh? discussing all of the topic, uh, maybe around week 10. Eh? Before week 10, we have already uh, finished everything so that we can focus on doing some uh, revision for exam or for tests that replace the exam. All right? So in the first topic, this is divided into uh, some sections, as you can see here. We have uh, seven sections to be discussed in this topic one. Start from uh, introduction. Okay, and then uh, uh, we'll be discussing about uh, rotational motion, Newton's law, and power relationship, which is just a revision. This is just a revision to uh, previous uh, lectures related to mechanics, for example. In calculus also, uh, saya rasa dalam calculus pun adalah topik berkaitan dengan rotational motion, Newton's law. Newton's law ni kan dah biasa kan dalam physics. And then power relationship. Then uh, in the second, uh, the third section, I'm going to talk about the magnetic field and magnetic circuit. So this one is uh, something that is related to the rotational motion. Before we begin with the rotational motion, or rotational uh, magnetic field, uh, we should start understanding about magnetic field itself and also the magnetic circuit. Okay, magnetic circuit is actually analogous to the electrical circuit. The normal electrical circuit is now translated into magnetic circuit in this case. And then we're going to talk about Faraday's law. Faraday's law ni. Saya rasa dah, dah ada dalam uh, electromagnetism, eh? electromagnetism cause electric and magnets. Well, uh, adalah sentuh berkenaan dengan Faraday's law. And then uh, production of induced force on a wire. When I put, when we put, sorry, when we have the wire, electric wire, sorry, when we have a conductor or wire like this, we move it in the magnetic field. So what happened? That is the thing about, uh, that is the thing that I'm going to discuss in uh, section 5, which is the production of induced force, which is the force that will be induced inside on the wire that is moving in the magnetic field. Okay. Uh, yang ni pun berkena dengan konsep lah, teori juga. And then number 6 is uh, induced voltage on a conductor moving in a magnetic field. So, this is another concept when we, uh, uh, when we have the electric wire or wire that we supply with current, okay, where we induce the voltage, sorry, when, uh, okay, production induced force on the wire, sorry, uh, let me just uh, repeat, section 5 is production of induced force on a wire. <laughs> Dah lama sangat lah, saya pun lupa. Okay, production of induced force on a wire maksudnya, when we uh, apply current to this conductor, okay, and then this conductor is placed inside the magnetic field, what happen is the force will be induced. Okay, ingat tak? F equals to ILB. Yeah? Yeah? And then uh, e, induced voltage E equals to V. PL. Konsep-konsep uh, berkaitan dengan tu lah. Okay. Yang satu lagi tadi, induced voltage E equals to VBL is related to this section which is induced voltage on a conductor moving in a magnetic field. That means if we have a conductor, then we move this conductor inside the magnetic field. What happen is the voltage will be induced. Okay. That is about action of magnetic field. Okay. Then finally, uh, just a little bit about DC machine. The concept of DC machine. Okay. 
uh, this one of course uh, we will i will be talking about this machine later in another topic but this one just just uh, the concept of the dc machine using the simple uh, representation of the circuit that represent uh, the dc machine okay so we have seven topics to be covered in this uh, seven topics or seven sections lah to be covered in this uh, topic which is topic 1 so for today's uh, session i will just cover on the introduction the first section and then the rotational motion newton's law and power relationship which is the second section only okay we we, we just have uh, about 1 hour 1 hour or 45 minutes to finish i hope uh, we can finish uh, introducing about the introduction and of this topic and then also uh, we will discuss on the rotational motion newton's law and power relationship all right for the introduction okay uh, basically we will talk about electric machine ini when we talk about electric machine uh, we can imagine that something that is related to energy conversion okay we will talk about electric machine which is the device uh, that is used to convert the mechanical energy to electrical energy or the other way around meaning that uh, we have the device that is used to convert do the conversion of energy from mechanical energy to electric energy or another device that can be used to convert the electrical energy to the mechanical energy so I think uh, maybe you are familiar with the the term generator and motor. So these two devices in electric field, in electrical uh, based study, okay, the generator is the device that can convert mechanical energy to electric energy. And then when we talk about the device that convert electrical energy back to the mechanic mechanical energy. We are talking about motor. So motor is the device that convert electric energy to mechanical energy, and then the generator is the device that convert mechanical energy to electric energy. So jangan jangan confuse ya, eh? jangan tertukar. Okay, simple saja. As simple as that, generator is something we want to produce electric energy, right? The device that is used to produce electric energy from the mechanical energy. While for the motor, motor if we supply the electric energy to that motor, what happen is the shaft will be rotated, meaning that we turn the shaft. That means we convert uh, from the electric energy to mechanical energy in terms of uh, uh, rotation. Okay, so most of the practical motors and generator convert energy from one to another okay uh, motor ke generator ke biasanya kita gunakan mereka untuk convert tenaga lah energy conversion device okay what is the basic principle behind the working concept of the motor or generator so basically we are going to talk to talk about uh, action of magnetic field okay because of the action of magnetic field we can describe uh, the concept of motor and generator how it works okay how the motor works because of the concept of the uh, action of magnetic field generator bersama uh, when we talk about generator we we have to go back to the principle or concept which is the action of magnetic field so i will explain this action of magnetic field later that describe the behavior of transformer describe the behavior of generator uh, DC uh, generator or motor okay later on all right next is uh, so in this uh, course we'll be discussing only on the uh, uh, energy conversion that use the magnetic field which is the motor the generator the transformer huh? so Yang lain tu dah luar daripada skop lah. Alright. So basically, ada soalan kat bawah sekali tu. 
can you state what sort of machine that convert chemical energy or combustion to mechanical energy or rotation? Okay. Can you state what type of machine that convert chemical energy to mechanical energy? Kita biasa jumpa uh, kita biasa lah uh, dengan benda ni iaitu uh, internal combustion engine lah uh, ataupun engine kereta lah senang sekali cakap kan uh. engine kereta biasanya uh, mesin lah kita panggil mesin jugalah kan ataupun uh, uh, mesin ataupun motor kalau dekat US engine kereta dia panggil motor uh. so in the internal combustion engine ataupun engine kereta Biasanya kita gunakan chemical energy in terms of combustion. Contohnya kita masukkan petrol itu adalah hydrocarbon kan, iaitu uh, chemical energy that is uh, we do the combustion in that internal combustion engine and then to rotate shaft that will uh, convert into the rotational motion of the tire kan. Uh, so that is the example of the system atau per machine that convert the chemical energy to mechanical energy. There are many other examples huh, in terms of energy conversion. Huh? In terms of, for example, renewable energy. Renewable energy, biasanya katalah wind energy kan. Wind energy, kita convert wind kepada electric energy kan. Solar photovoltaic, for example, uh, we convert the uh, photon, huh? the characteristic of photon in the solar irradiance into the Uh, electric energy juga. So banyak 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 there are many types of uh, energy conversion system. So that the scope covered in this uh, electrical machines uh, course is only for the case of generator, motor and the transformer lah. Uh, so that three devices works under the concept of action of magnetic field. All right. So when we talk about uh, electric machine or machine, there is another device. Eh? Seperti yang saya cakap tadi lah, another device which is transformer. So transformer is another device in electrical field of study that uh, works under the action of magnetic field. Okay. So in this case, transformer is under topic two. Okay. We will we will be discussing about transformer in topic two. Okay. So uh, after that, uh, we'll be talking about AC machinery and also DC machinery lah. Tapi saya akan bermula dengan uh, transformer dulu. So topic one generally uh, about the introduction saja lah. Cuma nya transformer will be part of the machine that that works under the concept of uh, action of magnetic field. So what transformer do? So basically, transformer is a device that convert the ac electric energy to one volt at one voltage level to ac electric energy at another voltage level so the function of transformer in power distribution system okay ataupun power trans uh, transmission system ni electric power lah biasanya ataupun transformer juga biasanya digunakan dalam device device electronic appliance dan sebagainya kan so basically transformer only convert ac electric energy maknanya alternating current sahaja okay when we talk about transformer as as a, a device that convert the voltage level from low voltage to higher voltage or from higher voltage to uh, lower voltage or step down basically we are talking about ac system ac system means the sinusoidal waveform of ac system lah bukan dc system so remember that the transformer is doesn't work in dc system okay in dc system there is no uh kita panggil uh, the concept of uh uh electromagnetic induction tu tak ada dia dia macam uh, bila ac ac dia akan induce uh, electromagnetic field kan tapi kalau dc dia tak Memang ada dalam wire, memang ada magnetic field. 
Tapi dia tak tak berlaku kita dalam bahasa kita panggil aruhan elektromagnetik itu tak berlaku. So that is why for the case of trans uh, transformer it only works in AC. Alright. So if you are being asked in uh, for example in objective question for example simply I, uh, I can ask you uh, A B C D. Uh, transformer is a device that convert blah 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 electric energy at one voltage level to blah 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 electric energy at another voltage level. So, the multiple in the multiple choice choice question, uh, maybe uh, apa dia punya option uh, sama AC ke DC ke kan? Uh, kat situ boleh pilih lah. So itu itu uh, about transformer that is only works in AC system. So that answer the question this one lah does the transformer works on DC electrical system? The answer is no. Alright. And then transformer works based on the same principle of electric motor or electric generator which is based on the action of magnetic field. But the transformer is used to change the voltage level huh? change the voltage ah huh? bukan change the current change the voltage voltage sama ada nak naikkan ataupun nak turunkan lah itu adalah fungsi transformer so why are electric motors are gen and generators are so common ya yeah, kat mana-mana saja uh, even at your home now at your house now if you look around you will see some uh, electric or electronic appliances uh, that works uh, that use the electric motor uh. contohnya vacuum cleaner kan ataupun dalam peti ais uh, bila letak telinga dekat peti ais ada bunyi kan uh, uh, ada bunyi kan ada compressor belakang tu the compressor tu based on electric motor lah macam tu lah juga dengan air conditioning system sama ada contohnya split unit air conditioning system sama ada uh, indoor ataupun outdoor unit dua-dua ada motor uh, kat dalam ada motor kat belakang tu pun ada motor uh, sama ada ianya adalah DC motor ataupun AC motor hmm, DC motor biasanya yang guna inverter lah ok, okay contohnya uh, uh, aircon yang guna inverter tu based on DC motor lah and then uh the advantage of a uh, electric motor and generator generator in terms of uh, uh energy uh, so electric uh, electric motor and uh, electric generator works based on the input from electric lah right electric power is used to uh, in electric motor or generators kan it is about electric lah. So, uh, meaning that uh, when we talk about electric, it is a clean and efficient energy lah. Okay. That is uh, easy to trans transmit over long distance. Huh? So, uh, there are many types of energy. But electric energy is something when we, we can say that it is clean and efficient. Maksudnya, uh, sekarang ada renewable energy lagi kan. So, you want to avoid using the nuclear resources uh, we are moving toward the renewable energy based generation and electric power is clean easier to transmit okay biasanya energy conversion ini uh, sebab kita nak memudahkan penghantaran delivery ya yeah, of the energy that is why any form of energy contohnya wind ke solar ke hydro ke combustion yang konvensional ke dia tukar kepada elektrik dulu untuk memudahkan delivery penghantaran okey jarak jauh ke jarak dekat okey biasa itu berlaku dalam power delivery system lah that is why we use the uh, electric in electric in vehicle scenario uh, we can see nowadays that uh, uh, there are some hybrid electric vehicle or fully electric vehicle uh, that use the electric motor as the main driver uh, or ataupun the drive uh, the drive based on the electric motor ataupun uh, hybrid electric motor lah electric vehicle kan so 
in the future maybe uh, most of the conventional engine will be replaced by the electric motor to power the automotive industry or to power the vehicle or car lah kereta ke apa semua kan motor ke apa semua will be based on the electric motor like uh, no now we can see that the richest man in the world is the founder of tesla so what what tesla company do is this actually the company that produce the electric vehicle right okay and then uh, number two here uh, why are electric motors and generators so common in our life it does not require constant ventilation and fuel so like internal combustion engine seperti yang saya discuss tadi Okay, internal combustion engine perlukan fuel eh? ataupun petrol lah masuk dan buat energy conversion. Tapi uh, electric motor just perlukan tenaga elektrik dan convert terus. Alright. And then uh, almost all electric machines rotate about and exist. Okay, which is called the shaft. Eh? Uh, okay, uh, this is. I don't know whether you can see or not. So this is the. Uh, Saya dah stop sharing ya. Eh? Uh, this is the one other example of electric machine, which is AC motor, eh? AC single phase motor that I have taken out from my electric fan, my broken electric fan. So when we disassemble this, you can see this is the part here. One part here, which is called the stator. So as you can see, there are some windings of uh, wires lah, wires winding. This is the stator part, and this is the rotor, the rotor part. Okay, as you can see, this is the squirrel cage induction motor. Actually, it can rotate on a shaft. This is the shaft. So this is the axis. Eh? of rotation that is called the shaft okay of the electric motor so boleh masukkan macam ni eh? so kalau kat kelas fizikal saya bagilah bagi tunjuk kat student saya dekat supaya dia orang boleh lihatlah tapi tak dapat ah ni kan alright saya nak share balik saya punya screen alright so let me just uh, full screen mode a while. Okay, so what is shaft? Huh? It is the axis of rotation. Okay. And then there is a question here. On what basic principle does the electric machines work? Okay. So before we go through this, uh, the principle or the concept of electric machine, how does it work? Basically, uh, we will have to explore some uh, uh, review. Lah. We, we need to, to review some other the concept, eh? uh, the related concept, which is, for example, uh, in the following section, I'm, I'm going to discuss about uh, the concept of uh, uh, distance, velocity, okay, and then acceleration, okay, and then uh, Newton's law of motion and power relationship. Okay, so I'm going to talk about that later. And then, uh, I think you have already done some studies or some... Dalam mechanics pun ada lah sebenarnya. Uh, sebenarnya ini adalah uh, revision saja. Sekejap. If you can have a look at this canvas, right? I'm going to share now. So, this is my canvas. We will talk about rotational kinematics. Okay, rotational kinematics. Uh, sejak, eh? my video is freezing now. Kamera saya ada problem sebenarnya. Suara okay kan? Sejak, eh? saya kena plug this USB and then plug it again. Kamera. Okay, kemarin saya dah okay balik. Okay, so we will talk about rotational kinematics. Okay, rotational kinematics. 
basically uh, it is about the motion of object in rotation in rotation mode so far we have been discussing about in mechanic for example we have been discussing about linear motion right f equals to ma newton's law newton's first law second law third law right? newton's law of motion kan so very similar uh, concept but now we are I'm going to talk about the rotational kinematic, which is the rotation. For example, if we have this sort of axis of x and y axis like this, right? So x and y axis. Let's say we start from here, and then this this point, this axis is called the reference lah, reference point. Okay, reference. So this object start from the reference point. And then moving in rotational form. Maksudnya, dia, dia berputar pada satu axis. Pada satu axis of rotation in the middle of that. Okay, uh, of that, uh, apa? Uh, circle, okay? Okay. So, apabila when this object reach to here. When this object reach here. Uh, this object is already moved to some distance. Huh? That distance is called the theta. So theta is the position or distance of this object after some time lah. Okay. Bila dia bergerak ah, daripada, daripada stationary, terus bergerak secara rotation. Bila dia sampai kat sini, dia bergerak sebanyak theta lah. Kita katakan kan. Okay. And then, uh, what is the velocity of this object? So we can say that the velocity of this object, which is omega, which is angular, is the rate of change of theta. Okay. So we can say that the angular velocity of this object, let's say this is the angular velocity of this object, after dia sampai kat sini, sebanyak theta, dia dah, dah melalui sebanyak theta. The angular velocity, we can say that angular velocity is the rate of change of theta. And then, if uh, the speed increase, uh, the angular speed or angular velocity of this object increase, what happen is we have another variable, which is the angular acceleration represented by alpha. Uh. So, angular acceleration is defined as the rate of change of d over dt of, this is omega, okay. So, d over dt of omega. So, this is the concept of rotational motion. Eh? Before we go through to the, uh, uh, sebelum saya pergi lebih jauh, bercakap berkenaan dengan torque. Eh? Uh, ini adalah asas-asas yang you should understand lah. So, start with the angular position. Start with angular position, theta, which is the angle at which it is oriented. Measured from some arbit arbitrary reference point. The reference point that we have started just now. Huh? Start from reference point itu. Dia berpusing. Dan bila... Uh, dia punya distance ataupun dia punya position itu kita panggil angular position ataupun theta okay and theta is normally measured in radian or in degrees okay. dalam kes ni kita banyak guna radian lah okay ingat lah pi radian bersamaan dengan 180 degree kan and then biasanya dalam rotational motion ni uh, bila objek tu bergerak anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise that is the position, positive, eh? positive movement of that object. So, in other, uh, conversely or inversely, if the object is moving clockwise direction, meaning that we can say that that object is moving uh, negative direction. Okay. So, remember, uh, some other positive direction ataupun negative direction. Uh. Sebab soalan-soalan begini mungkin ada ditanya juga. Okay, then next is angular velocity, which is uh, 
angular velocity uh, when we talk about angular velocity or velocity in linear motion we can say that velocity is the rate of change of r kan which is r is the distance tapi for the concept of rotating body rotational motion when we talk about angular uh, velocity omega it is actually the rate of change of theta which is the distance take the derivative of distance we get the angular velocity similarly the some the, the same thing that i've discussed just now it's about the acceleration okay for the acceleration so acceleration is defined as the rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time meaning that when we talk about uh, rate of change meaning that it's the der derivative eh? rate of change means derivative we take the derivative of angular velocity then we get alpha or the angular acceleration so this is the wrong unit eh? actually this is radians second power of negative 2 okay so just uh, fix this 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 term okay the unit eh? and then next is about the force eh? in linear motion the force applied to object cause it velocity change dalam linear motion bila kita ada objek kita apply force okay dia akan menyebabkan objek itu accelerate eh? accelerate ataupun increase its speed right similar concept to the rotational motion now uh, we can say that the torque okay this is the torque uh, we will talk about torque it is actually analogous to the force in linear motion torque is used in the rotational motion eh? in rotational motion we use torque that is the force lah macam force lah juga eh? torque that is used uh, to increase the speed of the uh, object that is moving rotationally moving in the rotational motion okay so the torque is analogous to the force okay so in rotational kinematics we use torque to represent the, the force or another word for uh, torque is twisting force okay uh, also known as the twisting force sama je Talk ataupun twisting force ni benda yang sama. Kalau kita nak guna ayat force ini, kita boleh katakan twisting force lah. Uh, daya yang menyebabkan objek itu berpusing. Okay. So, this is the definition of torque. Okay. You can read. Which is the product of force applied to the object and the smallest distance between the line of action. The line of action and the, of the force and the axis of rotation. So to understand uh, the, the the theory here, theory uh, yang ni sebenarnya ada dalam textbook ya. To to understand the theory here, which is the definition of torque, let's have a look at this uh, figure. Okay. So when we apply the force here to this round object, eh, when we apply apply the force, which is the point of application ataupun point of action ni. Tak kena pada dia punya center. Okay. Tak kena pada dia punya center. Ataupun center point lah. Maksudnya, bila kita apply force kat sini, objek ni akan berputar, berpusing. Eh. So, when we apply force, we can define the torque. Ha? Bila dia berputar, maksudnya ada torque lah. Okay. So, we can define the torque as force times or uh, cross product of force and the perpendicular distance. Yang mana perpendicular distance? Yang ni. Force is this force lah. Okay. So, torque. Apa maksud torque? Maknanya force uh, darab dengan perpendicular distance. Bukan darab ni sebenarnya. Cross product. Huh? Cross product. Maknanya. Uh, cross product dah belajar juga kan. So, tak perlu saya ulang. Okay. So, F cross perpendicular distance perpendicular in this case perpendicular perpendicular distance in this case is r sin theta lah okey uh, perlu ke saya tunjuk ah huh? r sin theta saya rasa faham eh daripada bahagian ini ini adalah radius cosine theta okey kalau yang ni radius time sin theta 
ni sin 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 component ini cosine component ya the vertical one is cosine component the horizontal one is sine component okay so if uh, it's one of the component uh, sorry if if the the component the torque is constant we can say that tau equals to rf sin theta lah okay so next is work so we will talk about work kerja we will talk about work it is the uh, we take the integration of force with respect to dr kan itu adalah pada based on the linear motion eh? okay linear motion ini semua berkenaan dengan mechanics ya eh? so saya rasa uh, saya anggap you all dah dah faham berkenaan dengan mechanics eh? when we talk about work of course we can define the work as integration of force to the dr the distance eh? force to the distance but in the concept of rotational bodies yeah rotational bodies work is defined as, as integration of tau to the d theta maknanya f is analogous to tau kan dr is analogous to d theta sama saja sebenarnya huh? so assuming that tau is constant bila tau ini constant any numbers of tau meaning that we can strictly define the work as tau theta okay work is tau theta which is the unit of work is joule. Ada dalam kilogram juga. Huh? Kilogram meter per second macam tu kan. Uh, simply, we can just put joule as the unit of the work. So, you can google lah what is another unit of joule. Okay? You can google and find out what is another unit of joule. Sorry. What if another unit of joule? Betul lah. Another unit for work kan? Ya ni kita guna joule. Okay. Alright. Next is power. So, in the linear motion, we define power as the rate of doing work, which is d over dt times w, which is work. Okay. The rate of change of doing work. Okay. That is power. Tapi, uh, power is analogous to the power in rotational bodies. Which is, we can define the power of the rotational bodies as the rate of change of tau theta. Okay. Because uh, W is tau theta. Just uh, replace W with tau theta. And then let's say that tau is constant. We can put this tau outside. And then uh, the, the variable that remains in this equation is d theta over dt. Meaning that d theta over the dt is actually omega which is the angular acceleration right sorry angular velocity so in the end we get the power equals to tau omega huh? ingat huh? power dalam rotational bodies or rotational motion power equals to tau omega okay so this power describe the mechanical power of electric motor or generator huh? Sometimes we use the notation of P Mac like this to represent the power of rotational bodies. So dalam motor, uh, ini berkaitan dengan mechanical power. Okay, biasanya kita guna term P Mac huh, to represent the power of the rotational bodies. And then just sedikit saja lagi sebelum kita habis. Okay, uh, we have reached fifteen forty eight, tiga empat puluh lapan, maybe just one last slide about Newton's law of rotation. Okay. So far, we have, I've been talking about uh, the work power, kan? Uh, banyak berkenaan dengan mechanics. Eh? Yang ni pun berkenaan dengan mechanics juga. Tapi relationship berkenaan dengan Newton's law. Eh? Newton's law of motion. So, we we'll talk about motion. Of course, there is a linear motion ataupun rotational motion. So, in rotational motion, uh, sejak syarih ada kelas. Sikit lagi. So, in the rotational motion, okay, 
uh, this is Newton's second law. F equals to ma, right? F equals to ma. But in rotational motion, we can represent force as torque, right? Torque is analogous to the force. And J ni sebenarnya adalah moment of inertia. So, in rotational motion, we represent mass of the object in terms of moment of inertia that is represented by J. And then, alpha is analogous to A lah dalam linear motion. So, uh, untuk Newton's second law, we use F equals to MA for linear motion. Okay? When we apply force to the object and then we increase the speed, that, that means uh, acceleration is applied to that object. We can define the force acting on that object is as equals to MA, right? So in rotational bodies, similar concept we can apply, which is we can represent the torque action, torque action to that rotational body as J alpha, which is J is the moment of inertia times the alpha which is angular acceleration. So itu adalah equation-equation yang kita kena familiar lah dalam mechanics especially. Uh, so saya saya sebelum saya pergi jauh bercakap berkenaan dengan electric machines, uh, things that you 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 have to uh, understand is about rotational motion lah. Of course, kita dalam physics kan, kita banyak bercakap berkenaan dengan theory of mechanics uh, motion dan sebagainya jadi kita kena relatekan dululah equation equation yang terlibat uh, dalam uh, bila kita nak bercakap berkenaan dengan rotational motion of motion, uh, motor or generator itu uh, kita kena establish our knowledge dulu dalam konsep-konsep berasaskan kepada power kerja Power ni, dia, dia relatekan dengan mechanical power of the motor kan. And then concept of force, uh, torque, uh, torque, uh, then uh, work, and then uh, angular speed, angular acceleration dan sebagainya lah. Uh, ini adalah revision sahaja. Uh. Siapa yang rasa loss itu sebenarnya bukan dia tak, uh, tak belajar sebenarnya. Saya rasa you all dah belajar cuma mungkin dah tak ingat kan. Dah tak ingat, dah nak kena baca balik. Biasalah. Uh, itu adalah konsep-konsep asas yang you all should know before we begin in the uh, discussing the topics about uh, uh, electric machines lah. Okay, so we have another slide which is this one falls under the third section, the magnetic field and the magnetic circuit. We will be uh, discussing this or I will be presenting this uh, in our next uh, meeting on Sunday. Okay. So, kita akan berjumpa lagi on Sunday in our two hours class. Huh? Hopefully, I can start uh, the uh, presenting about the magnetic field. Then, ada lagi lah. Uh, kita akan masuk ke magnetic circuit macam ni. And then, uh, some uh, equations related to magnetic circuit. Okay. Sebenarnya, tak, tak susah sebenarnya. Kita nak represent magnetic circuit tu sebenarnya dia, kita guna analogi lah. Analogous to the uh, concept of electric circuit. Ha? V equals to IR. Sama macam tu je. Semua, cuma dia dia pusing-pusing sikit-sikit. Uh. And then uh, lagi berkenaan magnetic circuit. Then ada tutorial uh, tutorial questions. Uh. Kalau you rajin sangat, ya nah, boleh boleh sentiasa follow on the YouTube channel that I've already discussed lah. Uh, berkenaan dengan soalan ni sebelumnya so semua material dah ada around you so it's up to you up to your effort sahaja untuk uh, dapatkan materials tu dan uh, do yourself revision lah alright so ok so I will stop right now up to this time so hopefully can see you again next week on Sunday If you miss this uh, QR code kehadiran, just let me know. Uh, I'm displaying this again. So, okay. I open for any question. If you have any question lah. Since you don't, you didn't interrupt me while I'm delivering the lecture. So, I ask again. If you have any question, you can ask now. Uh, if you don't, then uh, you can finish up to this time. Okay. So, You don't have any question, right? 
Ya, yeah, no do, Pak. Okay. No, that's all. Okay. So, ada kelas tak? Next. Saya stop recording.